Though Lenin had been produced in Ireland for many years, it was not until the late 17th century that it began to be produced on a large scale. The process of picking linen up until this time had been hard, back-breaking work. With help from the English government and from a group of skilled French immigrants called the Huguenots, the production of linen in Ulster flourished due to the increase in skilled workers and government money. For many years it was a cottage industry with small-scale farmers spinning and weaving. The Industrial Revolution brought major social and economic change. Lenin making moved from cottages to mills in many small towns and villages. Ulster became known throughout the world for innovation in manufacturing and engineering. Belfast became a thriving centre for linen production and much of the beautiful architecture we see in the city today was built using the money made during the peak of the linen industry. During the mid-1800s, Belfast accounted for over half the linen production and exports in Ireland, and it developed the nickname Leninopolis. People flocked into towns to work in their new spinning mills. Belfast more than doubled in size between 1841 and 1871, and its population doubled again between 1871 and 1901. During this time, the linen mills were the primary source of employment, with whole families working in mills across Ulster. Life was hard for families in the mills. Children as young as 10 years old would have worked the looms, and by the time they were 13 years old, they would be full workers within a mill. Work began at around 6 in the morning, with only a half an hour break for lunch, and sometimes people only had two days of holiday in the summer. The work could be dangerous and unhealthy. Despite the hardships, the workers developed great friendships with their workmates in the mills and had a strong sense of pride in their job as they were making products that made Ulster famous throughout the world. 